Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. My name is Dan from Icon Scout and today I'm gonna show you how you can make the most of the Icon Scout plugin and app. So we're in Figma right now and as you can see we have the plugin with us and you know let me explain you a little bit about about the UI. So over here we have Icon Scout and we can call this as home and once we'll click here we have access to millions of assets divided in three different categories. We have icons, illustrations, and 3Ds. Then over here, you will see some other avatars, and actually you can follow some of the most popular designers, illustrators, or 3D designers, or probably, you know, some bundles. So if, for example, you know, I really into the Impro Studio, as you can see over here, you know, I just follow them, and you know, I can have access to all the latest illustrations that they have. And, you know, I can increase this list more and more just by clicking here. And let's say I want to, you know, maybe follow Smashing Stock. So click follow. That's it. And so on and so forth. Okay, let's go back. Now, the other thing that we also have in the UI is my downloads. So once I will click here, you will see that we can visualize all the downloads that you made, you know, either from icons, illustrations, or 3Ds. And this is really cool because sometimes, you know, you remember that you were using some type of icon, but you don't remember the author or the pack and probably, you know, you just come here and you say like, hey, I remember I was using this for, you know, maybe a laptop, laptop icon. So once you hit on search, you will visualize the icon that you were using before. So this is really cool. Now, let's go back to Icon Scout. And over here, let me explain you a little bit more, you know, about the filters. So let's say that we are in icons and then we look for Bitcoin. There you go. And over here, we have different filters. For example, we can choose between the most popular, the latest or feature. In this case, probably we pick feature. Then also we can pick between all or maybe just free icons or premium ones. Let's say like I have a free account, so I just pick free. And also we can choose by style. And this is really important because sometimes we are designing, but you know, a certain style and we want to keep everything like that. So in this case, probably I would choose line. And then we have view as individual and also packs. For example, if we are looking this as individual, we'll have more results as you can see. But what if, you know, I would like to have probably some other options of different icons, but in some way that they belong to the same family. So we are talking about packs. So if I pick packs, you will see that we have this pack and inside this pack, I have 30 icons. So you know, let's say like if I need this kind of icon, I have also from the same family, some other options. So this is really, really helpful, especially when you are designing a specific UI. But not only that, let's say like we can see all the other different types that we have for these icons. So if we pick this style, boom, everything changes. And the same thing for this other one. So this is really helpful. If we go back to home and let's say like we pick illustrations, you will see the same gimmick. For example, you know, we can pick just premium illustrations and then, you know, regarding the format, we can choose between all or just SVG. And then we can choose view as packs. So over here, you will have all the different packs from all the different designers or studios that they are inside Icon Scout. Let's say like, I would like to pick maybe this one, medical and healthcare. And I can choose between all these different assets. And of course I can add them just by dragging and dropping. Okay, great. So now, you know, the last thing, let's talk about 3Ds. So over here, you know, again, we just can filter them between, you know, maybe the popular ones in this case, 
and also pick, you know, between free, premium, or all. In this case, premium is fine. And then we can choose between packs or individuals. So we can choose packs. And you have it. And especially with 3Ds, this is very convenient. Again, because if you're designing, you know, this kind of UIs, this is perfect. And, you know, actually, all the different assets that you see in my design, all of them, I took them from Icon Scout. So let's say I will delete this one, for instance. And maybe, you know, we want to replace maybe this one. I don't know. You know, we just can come here. And of course, we have the other filter, which is search. And as you can see, we also have this, which is the recent view. So this is also really helpful. Okay, so let's go back. But let's say I will look for, I don't know, abstract. And over here, you would see that we have some really interesting results. You know, maybe we can pick this one with a PlayStation 5 controller. So we just drag and drop it over here. And who knows, you know, what if we replace this one for this one? So, you know, I would just pick this one, hide it, and, you know, just resize it and paste it over here. There you go. And we have a new card. So yeah, this is pretty cool. And as you can see, very, very convenient. So that's it for now. And I will see you in the next part.